Beer can chicken, myth or amazing? Stick around and find out. So beer can chicken is my favorite way to make chicken, but there are a couple of pitmasters that say that I'm crazy. Like probably the most renowned pitmaster in the world, Meathead Goldwyn, says that putting a beer inside a chicken makes the chicken into a giant koozie and that the beer will never get warm enough to make a difference. But in doing my research, I found folks like Pitmaster X actually did an experiment and said they could taste the difference when you put beer inside the chicken. So only one way to find out, let's do an experiment ourselves. So I've got three chickens here. I'm gonna put beer inside one, I'm gonna put water inside the other, and the third one we're gonna put nothing inside, and we're gonna see what the difference is and how long they cook, and of course, more importantly, how they taste. So let's go ahead and get these chickens seasoned up. Okay, to keep the experiment fair, we're gonna do all three chickens exactly the same way. So if you've watched the channel before, you know that duck fat spray is my favorite binder for poultry, so that's what we're gonna be using uh, for our binder. And then I'm not even gonna make my own rub. I'm gonna use my favorite zero carb rub, which is uh, Bad Byron's Butt Rub. You've seen this before if you saw my turducken of insanity video. Uh, this is one of my favorites to use for poultry. I don't actually use it for pork butt, but it's amazing on lots of other things. And this has got, uh, let's see here, it's got salt, black pepper, granulated onion, granulated garlic, paprika, chipotle powder, you get the idea. This is a basic rub, but it just, it comes together amazing and it doesn't have any sugar. So those of us that are on keto can actually use it. So let's go ahead and get these three chickens seasoned up. Okay, three identical chickens seasoned exactly the same way. Now let's get ready to cook them. For our first chicken, we're gonna go ahead and use beer. Now this is room temperature, hasn't been refrigerated. This is uh, Narragansett Fresh Catch. No, it doesn't actually have lobster in it, but it's got a lot of flavor, it's a good beer. So we'll see how this does. And we're gonna go ahead and fill up this little container here. And then this will slide right in and lock down. And then we're gonna put a little bit more of the Bad Byron's butt rub inside so this can infuse the flavor. And then I'll put this lid on and let's get our chicken on there. Okay, so I'm gonna pull the legs around front here and I'm gonna tie the wings back up, just fold them back up here and I'll fold the wings back up underneath here. And this is our beer can chicken. Okay, for the second chicken, we're just using water. So I'm gonna fill this up the same amount with water as we did with beer. And I'm gonna go ahead and put about the same amount of the Bad Byron's in. We'll close it up. And let's get our second chicken on there. Okay, two chickens down, one to go. So for the last chicken, since there's not gonna be any liquid in there to evaporate, we're gonna go ahead and give it an advantage. And I'm gonna actually put a little bit of the Bad Byron's butt rub right into the cavity. Okay, so this is a different uh, beer can chicken stand and the reason it's different is because I only have two of the other ones. <laughs> but we're gonna get the same effect here. So let's go ahead and get this one on its stand. I'm gonna set this up exactly the same way. Okay, three chickens. This one with beer, this one with nothing, and this one with water. And uh, so that we can keep track of the beer one, I'm just gonna take the tab off of this Narragansett and I'm gonna drop it in the tray. And that way we'll know exactly which one's which. So, the smoker's up to temperature, I'll meet you at the grill. Hey, welcome to the backyard. If you've been here before, you recognize Yoda, our Yoder YS 1500 pellet smoker. Yoda's running at 275 degrees Fahrenheit using a combination of oak and apple pellets. It's gonna create a really nice flavor profile for us. If you haven't been here before, Eat More Vegans, by the way, is all about meat. So this is about grass and grain fed beef and pork from pigs that were raised on grain and corn and even acorns and Iberico pigs. And of course, chickens and lambs and goats. And sometimes we even do fish even though they're vegans. So if that's your jam and you'd like to learn how to grill and eat them, then hopefully you'll consider engaging with us. Subscribe on YouTube. 
follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, even have a TikTok channel that's blowing up right now. So however you choose to get engaged, love to have you as part of the family. All right, so let's go ahead and get these over onto Yoda. Here's our plan. I'm gonna put all three of them on Yoda. I'm gonna put temperature probes in two of them, uh, only two because Yoda only has two food temperature probes, but we're gonna rotate them periodically. I'm gonna spray them down with duck fat spray as my spritz periodically, and we're gonna bring these to the point where the breasts are 165 degrees. We're gonna pull them off, we're gonna cut them up, and then we're gonna taste them and see if we can tell the difference. See you in a minute. Hey Leah. What? Guess why I'm doing the chicken dance. Why? Because I made chicken. You should do the chicken dance. I don't know how to Like this? Okay. Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen. So, Leah doesn't know what we're doing other than the fact that we did the chicken dance so she knows we made chicken. So Leah, I got chicken number one, chicken number two, and chicken number three. And you guys uh, know what they are. And in case you don't, the editor is going to put a note here, here, and of course this one, you uh, you see this, so you know what that one is. And you'll know what these three are. But Leah's going to taste, should we do drumsticks? All right, so we're going to taste drumsticks and see if we can tell the difference between them. Or do you want to do thighs? Let's do thighs. I think thighs you'll be able to tell a better difference. Oh, this is, uh, there you go. This is juicy. So I'm going to take off a piece for me and then uh, also, here, I'm gonna share mine with you guys. Here, you guys get this. All right, Leah, you wanna tear off a piece? Moist, tender, yummy, you ready? Cheers, cheers. cheers. Oh my God, that's great. It's really good, right? All right, so it's definitely tender, super moist, right? And the flavor's all there, right? So all right, so that's chicken number one. You ready for chicken number two? Chicken number one. Okay, all right, here we go. You wanna take a piece of that one? All right. Wait, we have to get them one. Yeah, all right, you wanna give them one of yours? Yeah. Okay, so Leah's gonna give you guys some of hers. That one's for you. All right, here we go. Cheers, cheers. Mm. All right. This one doesn't have as big as a flavor. Not as much flavor. And uh, It's still super moist though. It's still super moist, not as tender though, I think. Or do you think it's just tender? I think it's the same tender. Okay, so a little bit less flavor on chicken number two. And then let's do chicken number three. All right, here's a thigh. All right, here's a piece for you and a piece for me. Okay. And oh, you're gonna give him one of those? Okay. All right, that's for you guys. You ready? Cheers, cheers. This one has a lot of flavor, but it's not as moist as the other one. It's not as moist as this one. Mm -hmm. 
Does it is it as the same flavor or is it better it's flavor? It's more flavor. Definitely. All right, so more flavor over here, but not as moist. Okay, so here's the secret. This one I did with water inside. This one's my beer can chicken, and this one had nothing inside. So the beer can chicken tastes better? Yeah. All right, there you have it. Listen, I am sorry, Meathead. I'll see you in Memphis. Please don't be mad at me. Please don't throw me out of your event. Who are you? But I think beer can chicken is still the way to go, and I think this is a great way to make it. Hey, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you had fun. If you did, I'm gonna put another video right here that I think you're really gonna enjoy, and if you've already seen that one, check this one out down here. I think that one's gonna be great too. We'll see you next time on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.